Okay guys, so I just got through doing the whole overview on my AK and I figured I'd do a quick just rundown of the uh, stock I have on here. Uh, the stock is a Chris Bone Steel stock. Uh, or, I mean, it's made by Chris Bone Steel of Bone Steel Arms. Uh, you can look up their products on their website. They have a, a buffer tube style where instead of uh, this triangular sort of stock, they have a It'll allow you to use AR-15 stocks. It does have a really good look to it. I saw a picture on, uh, if you go to like Google Images, you can look up uh, an AK-74 that's got a Magpul CTR stock on it. So it looks really neat. Now, uh, I like this just because I don't fancy buffer tubes on my AKs, because I think they just don't belong there. But it's got a really solid lockup. I'll bring it to the camera, but there's no wiggle or play. Uh, you hear a little chingling, and that's from the QD point right here. If I take that out, there's no there's no w wiggle or wobble that you get with traditional folding stocks, and it creates an uncomfortable like shooting surface. Uh, another thing I really like about it is you don't have to remove the rear tang. This this actually incorporates the rear tang into the rifle, so that you can still use like a full scale rifle like I have here, but not have to remove that rear tang. I know the uh, A stock looks very similar to this but it requires you to like dremel off your rear tang and if you're bend if you're supporting your entire rifle with the stock when you're doing like a mag change there's a lot of stress that's put on the rear here and I've heard horror stories I haven't actually seen any but and not to disapprove of the ace quality but I prefer to just keep that on there um, it's this part right here is metal I know when I first saw it I thought it would be like a rubber but it's metal so if you need to like bash skulls or anything like that. It's definitely going to hold up. The way it locks up is you're just going to press down and it just folds over. It's tension held, but it's a really good tension. It doesn't just like flop off on you. And when you want to deploy it, you literally can just take your hand and swing it out. As you can see, the lockup mechanism on it is very tight. There's no room for failure or anything like that. Uh, arguably, the stock that comes with the rifle in its stock configuration, uh, no pun intended, is good, but I wanted to put this as like a trunk gun, and so having that folding stock on there was really convenient. Um, I recommend getting this. It's a lot better than buying, say, the Arsenal Triangle Folder, which incorporates the rear tang, but it just looks like this big ugly piece sticking off the back. And then there's that Tapco Galil style folding one, but it's like 20 bucks and it's plastic crap. Um, so even though this is like significantly more expensive, you're gonna be running about $150 more or less. Uh, sometimes they do sales. Even though it's a lot more expensive, I feel the quality is much higher on this. And uh, you guys will enjoy it if you purchase it. Uh, the buffer tube version, if you're just buying the folding stock with just the buffer tube attachment, is only about, uh, I think about a hundred bucks, or I can't see the price off the top of my head, but it is, it is a lot cheaper because you're not paying for the stock section, you're just paying for the locking mechanism or the folding mechanism. So if you guys like Magpul stocks or AR stocks on your AKs, then you get a folding option, which is really cool, but I prefer this, this look to it. I think it's it clashes with the gun pretty well. Blonde high schooler and whatnot. And thanks for watching.